Hey you guys, this is hair story time update. <laughs> so after I did the video, um, I wanted to let you know because I kind of wanted to get opinions from you guys and I'm going to tell you what happened. Okay. So I don't know if you guys ever watch, uh, house, real housewives of tarot. I really like her. I like her hair. <laughs> well, she cut her hair short and like a little pixie. I wanted a pixie bob. You know, and I was keeping my natural hair color, you know, dark. And my hairstylist cut it, but she didn't do a great job. Like, this should have told me, like, don't go back. So what I did was, I went back to her and I'm like, well, you know, it should be fuller on one side. It's supposed to be like a pixie bob. And when I went back, just be, you know, it's the holiday right now, right? So she effing butchered my hair so bad and I paid twice for a haircut and um I was like this is so horrible this is so bad I'm gonna go through this whole holiday with fucked up hair right and I'm like there is no way that I'm gonna go out of my house with fucked up hair like this and it's gonna take forever for my hair to grow and my sister's like well you can go to another hairstylist and have them at least fix it and I'm like, no, mm -mm. I'm just going to let it grow and I'm going to get a wig. So I wanted to see when I put that post up yesterday, if you guys noticed it was a wig. And I looked online and I'm like, I need something that's realistic, that doesn't look like a, a real, doesn't look like a, a, you know, it doesn't look fake. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was really concerned about that because I'm like, and I said, if I'm going to do this, I might as well have fun with it, right? So I'm going to do a color that, and then I did some research about what colors look good with what skin tones. And I'm very fair. I'm like really white. And my hair, as you know, is almost black. It is so dark. Um, so what I did, and my eyebrows have always been lighter for some reason, naturally lighter. So anyway, um, I saw uh, Raquel Welch, I found, that has the best um, synthetic line which um it's expensive yes however she has the best hairline they say in the industry now mind you i know nothing about freaking wigs nothing but i originally ordered from one company and i found out they were shysters and i'm like what the hell and i feel so bad for some of these cancer people who needed wigs and got shysters out of their wig i was am i gonna name the company but anyway i got this one just so you know and this isn't a paid video or anything like that and i'm somebody's texting me hold on I just want to get the name of the company that I got mine from. So you, you have it. And again, I'm not being paid for this at all, but I'm telling you their turnaround time was fast. Cause I was wearing hats, baseball caps. And dude, I look like a boy. I used to wear my hat backwards. No, I didn't really look like a boy, but who wants to wear a hat every day? You know what I mean? If you go somewhere nice or if you're going somewhere nice for the holiday, I cannot wear a baseball cap, right? So anyway, I got mine from wigstudio1.com and the wig studio and then number one. It's not O-N-E, it's just the number, uh, one.com. And anyway, so this is, let me see what, what the hell this is called. Hold on one second. I have the name of this. Um, okay, this is called Well Played is the name of the wig itself, right? It's called Well Played. It's long. By, by the way, I'm such a petite person. This was way long on me because I'm so tiny. Um, I cut like two inches off the bottom. Maybe you shouldn't do that, but I did because I was like, this is way long for me. So, and don't cut your wig until you know you're keeping it, until you know it's decent and all that stuff, right? I did a lot of research because I'm like, there's no, I'm not going to go a year. I'm going to have to wait maybe six months to a year for my hair to grow back. That's how bad my haircut is. <laughs> okay. So those of you who just want to do this video because those of you who have like, maybe you need a wig for medical reasons, or maybe it was just a bad fucking haircut like me, you know, um, you know, there's options, I guess. So, uh, okay. So I wanted to tell you. This is called, uh, like I said, Well Played by Raquel Welch. And this is called Shaded Biscuit. And the number to this Shaded Biscuit, it's called Shaded because there's roots here, right? And um, they have shaded and unshaded. You don't have to get, you know, they have browns, reds, all. I was going to get my color, but, you know, I don't know. 
um, the dark browns, they didn't really have a lot of good dimension to them. And some of the black just look, I don't know. I figured I'm going to try blonde and see how it goes, you know. So anyway, the, the number to this is 1923 SS, which stands for shaded, right? 1923 SS. Um, so I just wanted to give you this information. Now, I did buy another one. Um, it's coming because they say that you should kind of switch them off sometimes because I'm going to have to wear this fucking every day. <laughs> my hair is that bad. My haircut is... And I don't think I've ever got a bad haircut in my life. Usually I could rock whatever it is and make it decent, you know. But this was so choppy. And I said I could go to another hairstylist to cut it and make it better. Um, but then I would have to let my hair grow that much longer because wait for it to grow longer because they'd have to cut a lot off because what she did I mean I look like I'm from like a refugee camp or something like it just looks so bad <laughs> so bad I mean I probably could have cut it myself that's how bad it looked so anyway um so I put this uh video on yesterday because I wanted to see what do you think about my hair I changed my color but I didn't change my color uh it did happen because of a bad hair mishap. Yes, that's true. Um, I've never dyed my hair in my life. And to, to go from almost black hair, and I only have like a couple, two or three gray hairs, maybe four. I don't have very a lot of gray in my hair, naturally. So to go from that black to this color would maybe be a little hard or difficult. It may be hard on my natural hair. And my aunt, who it's so funny because I have a lot of relatives who are natural blondes, and um, I am part Swedish, <laughs> you know, so, um, but um, I'm Irish too and Italian. So, but a lot of my family, like my mom's 100% Irish, her natural hair color is jet black and she has really china white skin and blue eyes, right? My dad has olive skin and dark hair and dark eyes, you know, so, um, but my aunt, my mom's sister is blonde. Her hair naturally, her color is like this, but she has curly hair and my hair is very straight it's like asian hair and so what i did was i picked a style that was very much close to how my natural hair grows like i even part my hair the same way and if you could see you guys look you could see like the scalp where the hair comes out you can't even tell can you they say that she has the best hairlines in the business and like here like you can't even tell like i'm wearing a little band to keep the wig in place now you can get bands in different colors like um, maybe if you have shaded, you may get like brown. Now I did wear this band for a little while until my other band came in. It's like a little kid thing and you go like this over your head to keep your makeup out of your face or your hair out of your face when you put your makeup on. And what I did was I put the ears in the back and I put this in the front, but this was a little bumpy up here, right here. Um, not bad. I mean, it worked for the day, but yeah, it just, uh, Anyway, get yourself a band and maybe get the color of whatever. And I, you know, because this is rooted, I got a rooted one. Maybe get one that's darker. I got gold right here. I might get one that's brown, like a light brown. But anyway, that's what I've done. And um, it's so far, so good. I like this a lot. Um, it feels soft. Now, I did cut it a little bit because the bottom felt, I've never bought a wig in my life. It felt a little hayish. And they do say that you have to spray like um, silicone spray or light um, conditioning, uh, what do they call it? Leaving conditioner in it and use a wide tooth comb, they said, to use this. Um, so they said to have these handy. And it's true because when it does rub against your shirt or whatever, it gets kind of tangled a little. So that's the thing. Um, this is a whole new thing for me. I never had a fucking... I'm turning into Dolly Parton. <laughs> she has wigs all the time. Anyway, I've done this because... And you know what's weird? Um, my sister's like, it's nice, but I'm so not used to it. And it's me too, because I'm so used to my hair being so naturally dark. It's so odd to see yourself with light hair. But I wanted to try it because I saw other people online with lighter hair. And it looks so pretty. It looked nice on them. And I'm like, well, this is great. I can try this without having to fully commit uh, to wrecking my natural hair, right? So... I wanted to also do this video because uh, I don't want some people thinking, oh, wow, um, she went from almost black hair to such light. And now, when you have fair skin like me, they say you want cooler tones because my skin is cool. Um, you know, my because my natural hair color is black and my, I'm very ivory skin. So, um, 
my aunt even said with your dark hair, well, she's a natural blonde, but she said to me, with your light skin, your hair looked too dark for your face. I said, really? And she says, yeah, I think so. If I were you, I would, when your hair grows back, I would get this done to your hair. It's going to be a lot. And I, and here's the thing. She says the damage may not be as bad because I have virgin hair. I never dyed it in my life. And I have no product on it. Nothing. Uh, my natural hair, I never, I mean, I used to get perms a long time ago in the 80s, but I haven't done that in years. So I don't, it's like virgin hair. I never process it. Nothing. It's really healthy. It's just she freaking botched it. And I don't have any, I mean, I have hair, but it's, it's she, it's crooked. I mean, it's so bad. It's so bad what she did to me. And I, and everybody's like, well, why didn't you tell her off? I'm like, I think she did her best. I don't want to scream. I mean, come on, what, what are you going to do? It's over. Right. And I don't want to scream about it, but I mean, it'll grow back. You know, my hair usually grows pretty fast, you know? So I'm like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fret over it. You know what I mean? What, am I, what are you going to do? It's a bad haircut. It may be a year or so. From it may be two years for it to get this long. Let's put it that way. That's how bad it is. <laughs> so anyway, I figured I'll just have fun with this. Now this, I'm going to tell you, these are expensive because if you, um, now I didn't, this is a, this is a partially synthetic. I think it's real, but it has some synthetics in it. This is what they call a heat friendly. So you could curl it. And then straighten it again, but you have to put it on low heat. I think the highest is 300 degrees or 350. I think it's three. I don't plan on doing that because I read online people who've curled it have an issue straight. Like, it's never the same again, right? And I don't want that to happen. But this does have what they call memory to it. So when I first got it, it was kind of in my face. I was doing this a lot, you know. Um, and they say that if you clip it back here and put a little heat on it, just like a mild hair dryer, it'll stay. Even if it gets wet, it'll go back to where it was. So that's nice. They do say you need to spray leave-in conditioner on it quite often to get rid of knots. And the more knots you get, more in the back. And that's why I cut it a little bit. It was so long on me um, that I didn't want to deal with being uh, knotted up in the back of my head. You know what I mean? So, But they said you're going to need this all the time, which is fine. I'll pull my hair. But um, what else? I'm going to tell you. So anyhow, this is weird to, it, it, here's the thing with my hair being so short now, I can wash it really fast and it dries really quick, right? And this, I don't have to worry about blow drying it or anything. It's already done. So I can just wash and go. Now I did do research on how often do you, here, let me just, how often do you have to um, wash these things, you know? And they say, Try not to wash them too often because once you wash them, they won't go back to their original state. It's like they're always a little bit changed. So they say spray them a lot with dry shampoo. And obviously you want to make sure your hair is clean underneath um, to keep the longevity of the wig. Make sure your hair is always clean, your scalp is always clean. And um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make sure my hair, I always used to wash my hair every day anyway. So it was no big deal. Um, I used to skip days actually though because my doc my doctor, my hairstylist told me uh, right after I had Ava, don't wash it so much because it's starting to get dry. And she says when you hit menopause, that can happen. Like you're you're dry you, and you're already drying out and you don't want to wash it too much and it really dries out your hair. So that's what I did, because I usually always had oily, silky hair all the time. And it did, uh, washing it less did get rid of, because at first you're going to be like a grease ball every day when you wash your hair every day. It's going to be more oily because you're, you're producing more oil because it's drier. Um, but the less you wash it, you produce more oils. But anyway, she said it's better for your scalp, but I don't want to ruin the wig. So I'm going to make sure I just wash it every day. No big deal. I don't have much, much left after what she did to me. But anyway. Um, so washing it every day and then, uh, dry shampoo, put that in and you should be fine underneath dry shampoo underneath. You can do on the outside, but don't do a lot. Cause they said that they can get sticky and gummy. So you don't want that either. You know, um, what else have I learned? I don't know. This has been a learning process for me, but I said, I just want to go out of the house and be able to 
not look like oh I have to wear a baseball cap everywhere I go <laughs> I couldn't wear my natural hair and I was at the bank you know and uh, handling some business and stuff and the guy's like why are you wearing a cap and I'm like I saw you twice this week and you're wearing a cap I'm like, am I, I got an effed up haircut, you know? And he's like, oh, let's see it. I said, no. He goes, come on. I said, no. <laughs> Seriously, no. It's that bad. You know? I said, I'm getting a fake hair. He goes, you are? What do you mean you're getting a fake hair? I go, I bought a wig because I don't want to walk around. He goes, oh, I have to see you later. <laughs> I said, yeah. But, um, so that's what I did, just so you know. Um, many places sell the Raquel Welch, um, Welch, W-E-L-C-H, wigs. But you want to make sure if you go to anywhere online and it says outlet, I found out that a lot of those are refurbished or uh, wigs that have had issues and they they give you a discounted rate. But who wants a wig that had an issue? Like um, if it's crooked or you don't really want that, just in my opinion. I don't know. Especially now these rigs go from anywhere to two to four hundred dollars. Um they have a lot of shades. I What helped me was a lot of YouTube videos like this. Helped me a lot. Now, mind you, um, this is, like I said, the, the the type of wig is called Well Played. Every wig has a name. She has different names for them. And so um, this is called Well Played. You can find um, different styles on YouTube and also different colors. Now, when you're doing your research online about the, these things, you know, I looked... now. Different styles of wigs can have a color, and then you can go for the same color. Like, let this is called a uh, shaded biscuit. So I can look at shaded biscuit in a different wig, and maybe it'll look different. So I always I found that a few people said on certain wigs it looks a little different. So I made sure. Now the one I wanted, I wanted ice cappuccino, which was actually lighter than this because I'm sticking with cool tones because I'm so fair. But I thought maybe that would be too light. Now I did buy another one. It's called I haven't gotten it yet, but I'll 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 show you guys when I get it. It is called what the hell is it called? Current Events, right? And I bought that in a shaded iced sweet cream. I think it's called shaded iced sweet cream. And that is a really light color, <laughs> you know. And um so we'll see when I get that one in. So I just wanted to let you know that this is what happened. So if you see me in a video and I'm like, and I just post, and you guys, nobody said anything in my videos about, oh, you said, oh, I, I like you better in blonde. And it was really eye-opening because my aunt, who is a natural blonde, it's so weird because when my hair is dark, I look just like my mom, like to a T. And when I put my hair like this, I look just like my aunt. <laughs> it's so funny. I look just like her. It's funny. I called her. And I sent her a picture, and she goes, what, did you dye your hair? Oh, my God, you look like me. I said, no, I didn't dye it. I said, fucking wig. She goes, what? Why are you wearing a wig? And I told her what happened. And she goes, now, she is older. She's in her 70s. And um, I asked her, I said, maybe you might want to get one in case you don't want to do your hair in the morning. <laughs> you know, you just flip this on. Because she likes uh, to straighten her hair. She has really, like, spiral curly hair. And she said that, oh, yeah, that would be kind of cool to wake up and put this on. Because she spends a lot of money to get her hair straightened sometimes. So I said, hey, maybe you should get this. <laughs> and she's like, let me see your, your hairline. And I showed it to her. Like, you can't really tell, right? You can't really tell. The hairline she did is so good. Like, you can't hardly see anything. So, anyway... These wigs are really, really... Now, it fits me really good. They have different sizes. Now, I'm going to tell you my measurements so, so you know. This is an average size wig. And I had room to make this bigger or smaller because I tightened it a little bit. Well, so I could make it a little looser if I needed. Or even... I have a lot of room to make it tighter, too. I have a petite head, and this must run small or something. Just so you know. So my circumference is 21. My ear-to-ear -ear is 12. Uh, and my face is eight inches from here. And just so you know, because I'm tiny, like I'm only five feet, you know. So this was so long on me. And so I, I cut the back a little bit. I'll show you. So I cut the back a tiny bit because 
Yeah, I had to because it was so long and it was getting snarly. And uh, I don't like that. And I like this better. It looks really clean cut here. And I can just run my fingers through it too if I don't have a comb with me. But I have to buy more of those little combs because they said that you need to comb it a lot. But don't play with it too much, they said. But you're going to need to comb it to keep it nice. So anyway, that is my life. You know, I'll be Dolly Parton for a year. <laughs> I don't know. Not really the one she... Now, there is a little snarl here. They said to be gentle. Oh, and I'm not worried about it falling off. It is on there pretty good. Get yourself a band if you want to buy one of these. There's like these little Velcro uh, bands. They're almost like velvet, like this. Okay, and then they Velcro, you know, you Velcro it on. And it goes around the back of your head and to the front. It doesn't go anywhere. This thing's not going no place. So anyway, just wanted to let you know. Um, that's what I did. <laughs> so I, I just don't want people to be like, oh, um, I'm going to go to the beautician and go from black to this. That might be, my aunt said it could be a process, you know, to go from such dark and it could be expensive. Because I told her, um, what if when it grows back, I did this. Now, if my hair were to turn gray, if I were, but my hair is not really turning gray anytime soon. My dad never went gray. He passed away and he still had jet black hair. Well, his hair was dark brown. My mom had black. My mom went gray young, but it seemed like I think to be taking after my father because I don't really have very much gray in my hair. So um, if I were gray, it might be a little easier because you may not see the growth as much. Now, if you have gray, I'm going to give you, if you have gray hair and you're getting a lot of, uh, you know, salt and pepper up here, you may want to go for... Um, there is a color here that's most natural to that. It's the ice, ice shaded ice macchiato. Macchiato is like this, but lighter. And you may want that because if you look at here, it's almost like, uh, what do they call that? Uh, what is that color uh, that's so white? Uh, I can't think of the word. It's um the real blonde, blonde, blonde. I don't know what they call it. It'll come to me. But do you see how it's so light up here? Really light? Yeah, it's almost like that throughout the whole thing. So if you have a lot of salt and pepper coming in and you wanted to put some of your side hairs through so you could see it and, uh, you know, make it look even more natural. Like me, I couldn't do that. Like maybe if I were to, you could see a little bit. Look. Well, my glasses are maybe in the way. Let me see. But they said it with glasses. No, I have to put it forward. But you can see a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It's because I didn't get my natural shade. They say try to get your natural shade as possible. I didn't want to. <laughs> I was like, I'm a, I've been dark hair my whole life. And I wasn't sure how this was going to be, though. And then I'll be honest, when I put it on, it was a shock. I'm like, I don't know. Did I do the right thing? But I do feel like with my skin tone, because my mom, my aunt, and I, we all have the same skin tone. Like, her blonde looks good on her, right? And um, it doesn't look as shark shocking as the dark did for me. So anyway, especially if this is something you wanted to. Now, I will say this. My side tabs right here, they're in the right place, but they're a little... Let me see. Oh, you know what else kind of sucks too? I'm just going to be honest. Um, putting your mask on, it's like because the side ear things, I have to lift it up a little bit. Just so you know, I just noticed that today. But at least I'm not walking around <clears throat> with jacked up hair. You know, so it's pretty nice. You can also put it up or what have you. I got one that looks just like this, except it's a bob. We'll see. We will see. They said you should change them out. Don't wear them too like, if you wear them all the time, they could get um, dry, so you have to put the spray on them. I don't know. I've never done it before. We'll see. So, that's that's where I'm at. This is a horrible haircut. So, I had to buy a wig. Oh, well. And you know what's nice, though? Uh, what's nice is that this is available for people who have 
God forbid, alopecia or the cancer patients or um, it's nice that they sell this stuff. You know, it is expensive and they say it is an investment, but you're not kidding. But I guess if you were to bleach your hair or have that done, it's a few hundred dollars anyway, right? From the beautician. I've never had mine, but it could be a lot of money and hours that you're sitting in that freaking chair. So maybe this is a nice time to try it this way and see if you like it, you know, and before actually doing your hair that color. And then if you really like the color, I guess you could bring it into your petition and say, I want this color. She did it so nice though, which is, I like it because it has the dark roots and it goes with my brows, my natural brows. My natural brows are kind of more of a light brown, but my hair is black almost black it's like a really dark black dark dark brown I would say so anyway that is that's what's going on and I could probably do a better job I'm not I'm new at this whole thing so I could probably do a better job at putting this on but I'm not worried I'll just leave it like this and I'll tell you uh at least I'm not what do you call it having to walk around with a baseball cap. Yep, that's, that's where I'm at. Now, when I just pulled my hair back just like that, I didn't, I didn't like how that looked. But oh well. I'm pulling it, let me see. It does get a little snarls back here. I guess they say this is common. Now, if you were to get a real human hair one, those are a lot, lot of money. And I'm not doing that. I am not doing that. So anyway, this is uh, what we're dealing with now. It's not so bad. I mean, it's better than, uh, better than what, what my real hair right now. <laughs> it is so messed up. And my sister's like, you know what? You could really get a shorter pixie and make it look really really cute and you could wear it like that it looks good my mom had short hair a lot and looked good on her my aunt had short hair not the blonde one my other aunt who has dark hair he had short hair and it looked really cute on her too it's just i don't want to go that short and i'm thinking that will be that much longer for my hair to grow back i'm like wow and even brought her a video of how to cut it i brought her a video of how to cut it i'm like this is how this guy cut her hair Okay, and when it was done, I'm like, I went like this. <laughs> oh, I look like so like an old lady. It was bad. I was like, no, you did not. But what could I do? It was done. It was done. It was done. I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna have to let it, let it grow, let it grow. So we'll see. I'm just gonna have to let that crap go. My hair does usually really grow fast. I am taking collagen. Uh, because it was shedding a lot and I'm in men menopause so I thought what am I taking collagen what is this stuff hold on okay this right here biotin with collagen peptides b7 and the beautician told me about it and you just take a half a dropper of this and every day put it in your mouth and it helps with hair growth so that's that so I'm, I'm gonna do that Take my vitamins. <laughs> Hopefully my hair goes fast. It usually does. My hair usually goes super fast. So um, I know my, when I was pregnant, my hair grew like a weed. It grew so fast. So anyway, that is that. And that's where I'm at. And that's why I'm wearing this now. <laughs> I figured, you know what? And the blonde ones look so cool and pretty. The darker ones look so less dimension like it was a flat color they did have some shaded chestnuts that i may check out i may check out a brown chestnut one and see it's got some dimension in there it, it's a shaded one shaded chestnut i will check that out and maybe i can get that in the same style the brown which you won't be able to even see my sides or anything when it starts growing especially i don't know my aunt's like i think you should um she thinks that I should dye my hair and then let it grow and then let it be light. 
She's like, I really think you should light, lighten it. But then don't you have to go in for touch-ups and like I, I'd have to go and get my roots done and I don't know how often is that. Is that like every three weeks or something like that? And you have to do your roots all the time. So anyway, that's what she says I should do. But I don't know, for them to get my hair who's that's almost black to this color, I really need to go to someone who knows what they're doing because they could really ruin my hair, my natural hair. And look it, I've already gone through this haircut situation. I don't want to go through another situation where it's cut off, I have to cut it off or falling out or something. And I've never damaged my hair ever. I've never done anything to my dark hair. And it's nice that I can go switch from dark to light. That's nice too. When my hair grows, maybe it'd be nice to keep the wig and then maybe some days do it light and some days have it dark. <laughs> switch off, however. But anyway, this is my video on my hair mishap. And um, if you wanted to get this as well, I did get mine from Hair Wig Studio and then number one.com. And the number is not in there. So it's wigstudio.com. One. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, so that's my story on my wig situation. So anyway, those of you, I do have some December videos to do. Let me know what sign you want me to do. I've done half of them already. Let me tell you which ones I've done. For the astrology for this month. Oh, let's see. This one. I put them under live. Cancer's done, Virgo's done, Pisces, Aries, Libra, Leo. So I have the rest of them to do, okay? So whatever one you want me to do next, let me know. And if you want a reading from me, click the links below. I love you guys, and thank you for your kind words and your comments. And I'm glad that none of you at that time, maybe you could tell today, I don't know. But at that time, you couldn't tell it was a wig. And if you can tell right now that it is a wig, let me know. Um... But, um, yeah, this is what I'm doing right now because my hair was so bad. <laughs> Such a bad haircut. Oh, my God. I couldn't get this thing fast. Oh, and by the way, I ordered it, and it took, I paid for the express shipping, uh, and it took, I got this in three days because I'm like, I can't keep going with a baseball cap. It's just seriously, I was going places with a cap on. And I look like kind of like a hold on had it backwards. I had my hat backwards. I don't know. I usually wear my hair like that, my hat like that, but without my hair, I don't know. It just looked, didn't look right. But I do like that girl on Real Housewives of Tarot. Her hair is really cute. I like it like that. And I don't think my hair, my beautician, I wanted that, but like a little bit longer version. I didn't shave my sides or anything, but my sides are short. My back is short. Um, but I wanted it just a little longer, like a little bit longer. And I showed her a picture, and it, I did not, I did not get that picture. I'll show you what I wanted. I'll show you. Let me see. Uh, I sent it to my sister. And I even showed her the video of how to do it. And I'm like, how do you screw this up? Like, how? How, how, how? She sent me a lot of crap. Oh, oh this is the one that I'm getting. Wait. Oh, wait. Here we go. You can't tell, but this is the bob that I'm going to get. We'll see. Um, and then this is the one hairstyle. I should have had this prepared. Okay. There was such a cute hairdo on the lady. On the girl. And for some reason, she made mine look like, I'm like, oh my God. I look like a lady from the 1950s. And she styled it. She made me look like I had a helmet head. I was like, what the F? And I maybe she did her best. You know, I'm guessing she did her best. But I was like, no. Oh, wait, here, I'll go to my pictures. Shannon and I, My sister and I text way too much, <laughs> obviously. Let me see. I'll show you what I wanted. And I did not get it. It's okay. I mean, she did do her little best, but I'm going to have to wait a long time now for my freaking hair to grow. Oh, here we go. Where is it at?
Uh, just so you know, this girl who looks so amazing in her hair, uh, my, hair my hairstylist gave me nothing like it. Oh, where is it? This is what I wanted. And my, it, it's a little, like I said, longer version. I know I'm taking forever. I'm so sorry. Like this. I wanted it like this. And I did not get that. No. It, terrible. <laughs> she made it all horrible. I'm like, what did you do to my head? Oh, my God. And my worst part was when she screwed it up the first time, I shouldn't have gone back. I should have just been like, thanks. <laughs> Go somewhere else. I'm like, oh, no. But anyway, so that's my story. And that's my hair situation. And just so you know, I did alter this. I did cut a little bit because it was way too long. For me because I'm petite and it just didn't look right but I like the shades and stuff in it it's really nice anyway talk to you later let me know what you think can you tell today because maybe because I have my glasses on it does open it a little bit more in here but I think you could cut these tabs a little bit maybe I don't know but it's better than my hair because my hair is so botched botched there's a show called Botch for Haircuts. I'd have been on it. That's how bad it was. Oh, my God. All right, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.